Once you've identified a profitable niche and chosen your affiliate programs, it's time to put them together and build a residual affiliate profit funnel. As a super affiliate, you will not be building campaigns that will give you one-off payments. Remember, one of the traits of a super affiliate is that they think towards a long-term haul. This means that they will capture prospects and market to them over and over again for residual gains. With that said, let's get started. List building is a vital component for any affiliate program success story. There are many ways to build a list, but it should ultimately work out to be an economical and sustainable method in your business. You can advertise through affiliate links in Google, but it will cost you 20 cents per click. With the right plan in place, this can work out, but in other cases, you might not be able to sustain the cost to initiate such an endeavor. A good business is simply defined as such when profits are coming in after all incurred expense or overhead is considered. Paid affiliate links are initially risky and prone to failure, especially since the chances of success are based on some unknown factors. There are methods to make this venture profitable, though. Placing squeeze pages so that customers are directed towards the affiliate page, whereby they can monitor their traffic before they are directed to the product website. This can help them get an idea on what kind of potential customers they're visiting. You will be advertising the squeeze page for visitors and paying for this advertisement at roughly 20 cents per click. You might be wondering, what is the difference here? While you will be spending money as before, in this case, you will be creating a database for your visitors. The creation of a database is a crucial component in an affiliate business. The same database which is diverted and utilized for one campaign can be repurposed and reused for future campaigns. This is the essential concept behind squeeze page list building. The idea is to build your base and potential customers. This is a method that can be a part of an overarching start strategy to grow your business and make it sustainable for a little initial outlay of cash. Conversion rates are an important factor, which governs the profit of your affiliate profit funnel. An average affiliate would normally have a conversion rate of 0.5 to 1%. However, as a super affiliate, for your squeeze page lead capture campaigns, you would want to have a conversion between 20 to 40%. This means that for every 100 visitors that visit your squeeze page, you would want two to four of them to opt into your autoresponder. How you can achieve this kind of conversion rate is by using a very captivating headline that speaks directly to their needs and the solution that you can provide for them. You may also present an irresistible offer that will trigger them to opt in or they will lose out. For sales conversion within your funnel, you would want an average of 2 to 4%. This means that for every 100 customers who clicked through to your recommended offer, you should drive at least 2 to 4 sales. One of the reasons why as a super affiliate, it is important to capture leads is because you will have a database of prospect that is within your reach anytime. Just imagine having your own personal broadcasting channel. You can be broadcasting anything and anytime you want, and you will always be presenting these offers to your prospects. They may not make a purchase on your first recommendation, but if you were to broadcast the similar products and solutions over and over again, it will very likely that they will on their seventh encounter with the product. The number seven has been tested and proven by many affiliates, and this proves to be the number where most conversions are made in their mailing system. With that said, make sure your profit funnel has a minimum of seven to 14 emails that is lined up for every prospect that enters your profit funnel. Many people jump into an affiliate campaign when they see a popular product and its offers. Before going full board into building an entire affiliate campaign, verify the sales page of the product and test if the niche you have identified converts. How you can do this is by setting up a PPC campaign very quickly with keywords related to your niche. Use the PPC data and stats to see how the sales page is getting conversions and this should give you a clear insight about the prospective customer's opinion of that sales page. This will also give you a clear indication about the positive and negative aspects of the sales page. By acquiring this knowledge in advance, you can withdraw from a proposal, or if not, you can plan an approach with the details of the sales page in mind. One must always test the waters before jumping into it. Also, make sure that the sales page doesn't have Google AdSense because if it does, then you will end up not making any profits from the potential customers. 
The reason is because when there are AdSense ads on the sales page, the potential customer will just click on those ads and leave. Those clicks will earn the merchant revenue while you end up with no conversion. This is why it is crucial to verify the status of the merchant sales page before choosing a particular affiliate program. As we talked about earlier for your squeeze page and list building, you should have a minimum of 7 to 14 emails lined up for your prospects. Bear in mind that this is just a minimum number. Generally, if you have more emails, it simply means the more profits you will drive. This is because you do not only recommend them to one product, but you can also recommend them to multiple streams of related products. This is what back-end profits is all about, and re-emphasizes the importance of list building and having a profit funnel. Imagine this. Say you're in the bodybuilding niche. The first product you promote to them could be about building muscles and how to get buff. Next, you can promote a fat burning product for them to tone their muscles to get a more defined body structure. This could be fat burner pills, fat burning diets, or even specific fat burning exercise routines. After that, you can promote extreme bodybuilding techniques for championship, and it goes on and on and on. You get the idea. The potential is limitless. So as you develop residual affiliate profit funnel, line up more and more emails which promote certain offers. But of course, in your emails, do not always promote. You should always provide value and lots of it so that you create trust and respect between the relationship of your prospects and you. Once you do that, they will be much more open to any recommendations you make. Some say that a strong residual profit funnel is proof of your business success. The right approach and planning makes all this possible. All of the above mentioned topics will help you achieve profit goals if implemented in a conscious and sound manner therefore will make any affiliate program a source for a residual profit funnel. This requires determination and enough effort to focus on the existing database of customers. You have plenty of options when it comes to affiliate programs, but what is required is a clear understanding of the product and how it sells. Once the affiliate programs start converting, it is much easier to tap that existing database of customers through back-end working and cross-selling. Understanding very well the merchant's product and its own promotion along with a clear sales page can make or break any affiliate marketing program. In addition to the above mentioned details, it is always a good idea to have a clear idea about the merchant's terms and payment conditions. If these two are not appropriate or adequate, then whatever you do will most likely be in vain. Some merchants put clauses in the terms which stops you from realizing commissions after a few sales generated by you. So always be very careful and read the fine print so you don't latch on to a program that will cut you off after all your hard work. Sometimes merchants will try to enforce limits on commissions or caps in total dollar amount that can be paid out for a given campaign. These terms must be reviewed carefully so you don't waste precious time or money. One of the biggest mistakes people make is not investigating the details of a particular affiliate program along with the merchant or the terms. They try to set it and forget it. Be careful and construct the most optimal residual affiliate profit funnel.